Good day. Today we are going to look at study unit two. In study unit two, we cover the banks and their role in the economy. Now, the Reserve Bank is also very important when we talk about the banks because the Reserve Bank is in the first place responsible for supervising the banks. So the Reserve Bank supervises the banks. That means they look after the banks and make sure that their balance sheets look fine and that, it, that they don't do anything that can harm the economy. Um, as we discussed in Study Unit 2, the Reserve Bank is also responsible with the banks for maintaining the payment system. Now, these two functions together both have to do with financial stability. So, this forms part of the financial stability function of the Reserve Bank. But that's not the only function that the Reserve Bank has as far as the banks is concerned. It is also responsible for monetary policy. Right. Now, monetary policy has to do with the inflation rate. The inflation rate, as you will remember from Economics 1, is when the, it has to do with the increase in the price level. Now, the Reserve Bank is responsible for ensuring that the price level does not increase too much. In other words, that the inflation rate stays at a certain level, they try to maintain it between 3 and 6%. Now, the only instrument that the Reserve Bank has available to influence the inflation rate is the repurchase rate or the repo rate, we call it. And we're going to explain to you exactly how the Reserve Bank can influence the banks and the rest of the economy by using the repo rate. In the next video clips, we are going to explain to you the balance sheet of a typical bank and how banks can create money. Can cut.